Hi viewers, today we will learn how to sharpen the blurred image or how you can remove fuzziness from your photos in Photoshop using the high pass layer. We will change this blurry photo to this sharpen image and this photo into this. First question, what exactly the sharpness does? Basically, sharpening enhances the definition of the edges of an image. Another question, how much sharpness needed for the images? Basically, it depends on the quality of the image and how blurred your image is and how much detail is on your image. But keep it in mind that sharpening cannot correct a intense degree blurred image. We will use the best method to sharpen the image. Let's start work on it. We will work on two images, the one you can see on my screen and another one is the landscape image. We will sharp the both images. Let's start work on it. Go to the layer panel, create a duplicate layer by pressing Ctrl J or Command J. Rename this layer to backup because I want to show you the difference between the final output and the basic image. Now duplicate this backup layer. Go to the filter, drop down, others, and click on high pass. This high pass value is very important. It is not mandatory. Whatever I will select, you have to select that. In your case, might be the value will be different. However, I will tell you the trick how to select this value. Let me increase this. If you notice that the color is pretty much visible, I do not want to visible the color. Let's reduce the value. The purpose is to sharpen the edges. Let's go back and see which value is better. I guess the edges are pretty much clear on this image. The 8.4 value is better for this image. Press OK. Now I want to see that how sharp the image is. To do so, go to this blending option and see which option is better for that. Overlay, soft light, hard light, or vivid light. I guess the vivid light is better. I will click on it. Let's see the difference between both. Now backup layer and this high pass filter layer. See the image is little bit sharper. Now merge the both layer. After merging the both layer, create an other duplicate layer. Again, go to the filter, others, and high pass. This time, I will select small value. Might be 4, I guess 4.4 4 is better. Press OK. Again, go to this menu and click Vivid Light. Now see the difference between the previous sharpness and the current sharpness. See, it, the sharpness is now increased. Now the problem is the whole image is now sharp. My purpose was to sharp the edges, especially around the eyes, lips and nose to remove the blur effects. How I can soft the skin? Let's see in the next step. First of all, merge this layer with the backup layer by pressing Ctrl E. Now create another duplicate layer. Go to the filter, others and high pass. Keep the same value which you have selected last time and press OK. But this time I do not want to sharp the image. I want to soft the image. For this purpose, I will definitely invert this layer. Before inverting this layer, go to this blending option and click on Vivid Light. Now to soft the image, I will invert this layer. How I can invert this layer? I will invert it by pressing Ctrl I. The whole image is now soft. This was not the requirement. The requirement was only to soft those arms, cheeks and the forehead. How I will mask that area? Let's see in the next step. First of all, I will mask this layer. 
I will invert this mask by pressing Ctrl I and I will paint the area which I want to make this of. Make sure your foreground color is white. If it's not white, the effect will not come. Now the foreground color is white. I will select the brush and will start painting the area which I want to sort. Now zoom in and reduce the brush size here. Reduce the brush size to paint this area. I think it's pretty much done. Now merge this layer with this backup layer. And now it's time to see the difference between the final image and the base image. Let me zoom in. Let me disable this final layer and see how blurred this main image is and then how sharpen the image is. This is a very clever way to sharpen the image. Now let's move to the second image. Go to the layer panel, duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J, go to the filter, others and high pass. Again, I, as I said before, this value is very important. Let me see which value is better for it. I guess 9.0 is better for that. Press OK. Now go to this blending option and see which option is better. Let me click on overlay, soft, hard, vivid. I guess vivid is better. Click on the vivid. But this time we forgot to duplicate the background layer. That's okay. Click on the background layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J or Command J. Okay, merge this duplicate layer with this high pass layer by pressing Ctrl E. Again, create a duplicate layer, go to the filter, others, high pass. This time, again, I will repeat the same step, we'll select the minimum value. I guess 5.2 is better because the edges are pretty much clear. Press OK. Go to the blending option and see which option is better. Soft overlay, soft light, hard light and vivid light. I guess Weaver Light is pretty much better here. Press OK. However, I do not want to implement the Weaver Light all over. I only want to implement this Weaver Light in this area, this area, and this rocky area. How I will mask that area? Okay, click on the mask icon. Invert this mask by pressing Ctrl I and paint this area which you want to make the sharper but make sure your foreground color is 100% white now select the brush and paint the area you want to sharp Now merge this layer with this duplicate layer and see the difference. I'm going to disable this final layer. See how foggy and blurred this image is and now see how sharpen this image is. This is a very clever way to sharpen the image. Doesn't matter it's blurry or foggy. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe for my upcoming videos.